Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're the number one reviewer of theatre in the UK and Las Vegas, and this week we're in Leeds for the opening week of Band of Gold by Kay Meller at the Leeds Grand Theatre. I'm always nervous when I email a press office three times and they can't be asked to reply. Is it just because they're fucking rude or is it because they don't want me to see the show because it's not very good? By the way, if you're offended by my use of the word fuck, this probably isn't going to be the show for you because it's littered with profanity and far too much potty mouth language. We'll get to that in a bit. Well, my conclusion is I'm going to say that the lazy people in the press office didn't want me to see the show because it's not very good. In reality, this is overpriced at £40 a ticket to sit in the stalls. It's twice as much as it should be. It's a play that really should be just a night out for 20, 25 quid. Instead, it's £40 because it's Band of Gold. And Kay Meller is, of course, using the TV legacy to get people in via this precious brand. I have to say the set is the worst I've seen this year. It is dizzying. There are sofas coming on and off like a hooker's drawers in peak season. These flaps and constant Venetian blinds are opening and closing and the lights are dimming and shutting and Dire Straits is playing on and off constantly, sometimes within seconds. This is not a TV show, it's theatre. It doesn't work to keep blacking out and resetting the stage and opening the flaps and closing the flaps and the hookers opening the flaps and closing the flaps. My God, what a show. I hated it. I've got to be honest with you. I thought the vocabulary was appalling. The script was tortuous. It's basically aiming at the fat friends audience who are women of a certain age who want a night out and will laugh at anything. The thing I hated the most about this show that is despicable is that when there weren't laughs or even when there weren't laughs needed, they just put in all of these northernisms to get cheap titters. Bollocks. Shit in hell. Bloody hell. Fucking hell. Christ. All these things keep coming up over and over and over again. And the longer the show goes on, the more you realise it's just for cheap titters and padding. And it actually destroys the heart of the show. By the end of this production, I did not feel sorry for the prostitutes. That's a failing. I left the theatre not caring about these women who are being abused by men because of the script. I would go as far to say in some of the characters, particularly Gain of Faze, it's almost like they enjoyed being prostitutes. And bearing in mind this is a show about a prostitute being murdered, I don't think that's quite the point. The worst atrocity then about this show is the script. It's just every cliched northern nonsense you've ever heard. It's like they've taken the worst lines from Coronation Street, put them in a pot, pulled them out one by one and stuck them in a script. And by the way, I'm from the north. Nobody likes a bloody hell more than me. But when you've got a big laugh for, shall I wank you off? You know, they're, they're, it's just low rent. I know I was surrounded by HRT patches and a load of women who wanted a night out to watch Band of Gold and they seemingly enjoyed it. But this isn't great theatre. And the technical nonsense that goes on on stage is dizzying. I've never seen anything quite like it. All right, let me get to the acting then. There are a couple of people in this who deserve great kudos. Laurie Brett is really fantastic as Anita, especially in Act 2. Gaina Faye does well too, although I didn't feel sorry for her because she plays it so hard. Kieran Richardson plays Steve. Again, it's not a big part, so it's hard to tell. And Shane Ward, possibly the most laughable part I've ever seen in a show ever. He is not an inspector. He's putting this as Totty. When he walked out, the girls went in Act 2, and that's not the point. You've completely ruined the play when you're sticking in celebs simply for shock casting to put on the poster some handsome, delicious man who's got a six pack. Well, he did in the 90s simply to sell tickets. It won't wash with me. I truly don't think he's a great actor or I will say the script didn't allow him to be a good actor. Completely unbelievable and actually ruined the show for me. Andrew Dunn is always a legend, one of my favourite actors ever and is always believable. Many of the cast should learn from him. Sasha Parkinson plays it well as Gina and the rest of the cast are fine too. The problem they've got is they're stuck with a play that doesn't know whether it's a comedy or a tragedy. We find ourselves laughing within seconds of just feeling something. That's a mistake. 
you don't need to get cheap titters in everywhere. And I have to hold Kate responsible for the overall failure of this show. Listen, it's going to do fine. It's Band of Gold by Kay Meller and women will go and see it up and down the country. And I'm sure it will be a sellout a bit like Fat Friends. But that doesn't mean that it's a great piece of work. It is a great shame. I wanted to love this. I travelled all the way to Leeds to see it and was hoping to give you a rave review. Sadly, this is a technical mess. There are some acting abominations within it. The Dire Straits music throughout is annoying. The set changes are ludicrously dizzying and mind-boggling. And overall, this is one of the worst touring experiences I've had in a theatre in 2019. Thanks to the press office for not bothering replying. Bit of class there. Uh, Don't worry, we won't bother sending you this review either. We'll just let the general public see it. Because we are the number one reviewer for theatre in the UK and Las Vegas, and there's nothing you can do about it. My name's Alex Belfield for CelebrityRadio.biz, and we've been at Kay Meller's Band of Gold, a two-star review, touring the UK through 2020. That's two hours of my life I won't get back. Ta-da.